Hi there! My name is Song Yu Hong, but people refer to me as Sugi, and welcome to my first ever vlog on Sugi Space. So I've always made videos for this channel, ranging from short films, fun outdoor videos, music videos, and a recent weekly project my flatmate called Mifflin and I started called The Sunday Hangover Session where we do a one take cover of a song with our talented friends and try to release them every Sunday if we're not too hungover. <laughs> the reason why I'm doing this vlog is because I thought I'll just give it a go and thought it would be a good opportunity for me to start something new since I just rebranded this YouTube page and I thought it would be a good way to interact with you guys and to have a face with these videos that are being released. I'm actually really terrified at the moment. Um, I hate being in front of the camera. I'm usually on the other side filming people. So at the moment, I'm feeling really nervous, really uncomfortable. Um, I hope that's not too obvious, but um, I promise you, I will get better. Now that introduction is done and out of the way, I thought I would tell you a story about my good friend, Andre Hart, who took it upon himself to hitchhike the length of New Zealand to raise awareness about shark finning. The reason why he wanted to fight for this cause was because he thought it was the cruelest and most inhumane way to kill a living creature. And by hitchhiking, he thought it would be a challenging but fun way to spread the word about the issue. Andre had to cover a total distance of 3,000 kilometers with one backpack that contained a sleeping bag, toiletry, sunblock, phone and charger, deodorant, some money, toilet paper, jockeys, water bottle, a tent, a cardboard sign, and a ready to go thumb. Now for him, it wasn't simply just getting from A to B, so he gave himself a few rules just to make the trip a little bit more interesting. For the entirety of the trip, he had to wear a homemade shark suit. And I mean, the entirety of the trip. Whether he was sleeping or eating at a cafe, he had to wear it. Another challenge he gave himself was that he wasn't allowed to get picked up by anyone he knew. So everyone that picked him up had to be a complete stranger. His goal was to start all the way up in Cape Reinga and make his way all the way down to Bluff. Andre hitchhiked through the North Island and thanks to Inter Islander managed to catch the ferry over to the south where I would eventually meet up with him in Christchurch. Whilst on the ferry, Andre became quite a celebrity and everyone took a liking towards his shark suit. Funny enough, Andre had a shark suit for me too. And I have to admit, it was pretty badass. As we left my flat in Christchurch, I was thinking to myself, this trip was not going to be too hard at all. Due to the fact that I had already missed the majority of the hitchhiking, which meant there wasn't too much distance to cover. How wrong was I? It seemed that the further south we went, the harder it was for us to get picked up. We weren't too sure whether it was because that now there were two random dudes dressed in a shark suit, looking completely ridiculous, or the fact that we were just waiting at terrible, terrible spots. There were times when we had to walk for hours and hours just so we could find better spots to hitchhike at. We also tried different and creative ways to get picked up. Bit by bit we're slowly reaching our destination. After several car rides that could only take us so far, we ended up being stuck in this town called Gore. From Gore, our destination was only about an hour away, but cars after cars just kept driving past us. We were so close yet we were thinking, if we're not going to get picked up now, how are we going to get picked up tomorrow? Thank goodness for how small New Zealand is. We had someone drove past us and remembered seeing a Facebook event page of Andre's hitchhiking trip in a shark suit through a mutual friend. So he went back home, got changed and came all the way back to us just so he could drop us off to our final destination. What a lad!
By the end of the trip, Andre managed to raise $1,662 and all the proceeds went to the amazing team at WWF who work tirelessly to help our amazing ocean creatures. If you want more information about the awesome things they do, check out their link in the description box below. Also, special thanks to the amazing Bacon Brothers who donated a portion of their funds to the cause. To let you know a little bit about the Bacon Brothers, all you need to know is that they make amazing bacon burgers at a wide range of events and markets. So whenever you're down in Christchurch, make sure you head over to the Saturday market at the Rickerton Bush and try out one of the amazing burgers, and I promise you, you will not regret it. And lastly, thank you so much to those who pledged, and to those amazing, wonderful people who made our journey possible by picking us up. So I know I've said this so many times before, but Andre, I'm so proud of you, and I can't wait to go on many more adventures with you in the future. So I guess that's the end of my first ever vlog. Um, I hope it went okay, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please feel free to subscribe and leave a comment about what you liked about the video, what you think I could do better for next time, or what you hated about the video. Please be nice. Other than that though, thank you so much for watching this and I guess I'll see you soon. So get out.